Hi there, this is Gavin from SomeRandomThoughts.com. A lot has been talked and written about Moodle 2 and repositories. Last year I did some videos about the early integrations, which can be found on YouTube. I've also written some presentations and most recently a white paper about repository integrations, which can be found on my blog under publications. However, one thing that a lot of people have asked me was how the Alfresco integration actually worked. So, this is the reason I've put together this video. So firstly, let's have a quick look at Alfresco. This is Alfresco, and I'm just going to log in, and I'm going to go to my home. Now, this area here, which it calls spaces, this is the same as folders, and you can see there's a space here called test area. Spaces can hold files, or more spaces, and most importantly, although we won't go into detail now, it can have rules which makes it possible to build workflows around content management. This area down here is the content that is in my home space. You can see there's one image here. So what I'm going to do is going to add an image into Alfresco to see how that process works. So I want to click on Add Content. So I click on Browse. And then here, I want to choose this background image. I want to select it and I'm going to click on Open. Now as you can see, Alfresco has automatically determined the type, the encoding, and, and the content type. So when I click OK here, I'm then prompted to add in some metadata and the author. And then I click OK again. And now you can see here that that image has been added to Alfresco. But what about Moodle? Well, let's go and have a look at Moodle. I've already set up the Alfresco plugin in the admin area. And as you can see here, it's quite straightforward simply the URL to the API and give it a name. What about in the course? So let's go there now. So over here I have editing turned on. I'm in a blank course. I'm going to click on add a resource on file and then I have the add file window. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give it a description. I'm going to click on add. Now here on the file picker you can see that I have an Alfresco plugin and icon here and it's prompting me to log in. So I'll just log in. Once I log in, I have access to the areas in Alfresco for which the account has permissions. If I go into User Homes and then G. Henrik, this is my home space. You can see the two images and that space. So I can then select the image, select the file, and then I can just scroll down here and click Save and Return to Course. And here you can see the file has been added. So although the image was originally added to Alfresco and managed potentially within workflows, multiple people editing it and so on, but now it's been copied into Moodle itself. And that's it really. That's how files can be added to and managed in the Alfresco repository and how the repository plugin can then copy the file into Moodle 2. Now be sure to check out my blog for more videos, Moodle 2 module reviews and some publications.